It looks like a prison exercise yard, but these men are mental health patients, captives of a different sort in the prison of the mind. They're looked after here with great care, along with the elderly and those with disabilities. Together they make up one of Ukraine's many worsening wartime crises. The scale is shocking and there will be even more as psychologically damaged men return from the war. Marina was in charge when Russian soldiers heading for Kyiv surrounded the facility in February last year. It affected them a lot. Almost every day now we take some of our boys for psychiatric treatment to support their emotional state. Some have become more aggressive after what they went through. There was gunfire and explosions. Twelve local people were killed, including four of her residents. The horror of it deepened their trauma. And there have been other changes. Newcomers from areas near the front lines, like Galina, who arrived here with her mother from now occupied eastern Ukraine. Homeless and without relatives to care for them, it's estimated more than 4,000 elderly Ukrainians with disabilities have ended up in state-run institutions that barely have the resources to cope. This institution is one of the best in the Kyiv region, and you can imagine what they're like in the east, more than 800 kilometers away. Soviet-era institutions like this were often built in remote locations deliberately to keep disabilities hidden, which is partly why this one fell in the path of the Russian invasion. Now, a sector that had been modernizing before the war has been set back and is under extreme pressure. Olena stayed on to care for residents as Russian soldiers set up firing positions outside. They put mortars and grad rocket systems in the field over there, she explains. There is currently a great need for these facilities for people who lost their homes, their loved ones, left alone with their problems. Who will help them except organizations like ours? The sound of a piano brings welcome cheer. Alex has been a resident here for four years. When the Russians came, a friend told him to run, and so he did returning as soon as they'd left to the care that now is in high demand, but short supply. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Borodyanka.